What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> What is good everyone, Shoops here. Today we have some very exciting stuff. We'll be taking a look at a highly requested keyboard for review. The Mr. Freaking Suit. This is our lab's entry into the TKL market. TKL is the best layout by the way, and I have gotten sent this for review for the upcoming second round of the Mr. Suit. So a bit more detail on the release for the Mr. Suit R2. The tentative sale date is November 6th, 2021 at 6 p.m. EST. I would join their Discord server, link in the description to keep up to date on any changes to this though. Like most other Owl Labs boards, this release will be first come first serve, so you better juice up on that Red Bull, pray to your ISP and get those hand warmers ready because it will most likely be a bloodbath and you're going to have to be fast as fuck. Owl Labs does seem to be looking to release more rounds of the board though, so if you miss out, you will luckily have more chances in the future. Well, for this release of the board, the price is set to be around 390 bucks for the standard case with different options adding to the cost, and the options will be <gasps> Baby Powder Silver, Baby Powder Grey, Baby Powder Black, Baby Powder Silver, Glossy Chamfer, Baby Powder Golden, Baby Powder Blue, Baby Powder Golden Glossy Chamfer, Black Silver, Double Black, a Black to Silver Glossy Chamfer, Black Golden, Black Red, Black Chroma, Black Golden Glossy Chamfers. Oh god, that's a lot of fucking options. Also for this release, the stabs and artisans will stay as freebies that will be included randomly in many packages, so pray to RNG on that part. Anyways, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got in there. Uh, the box is very nice by the way, it comes with this magnetic flap, and it looks pretty damn classy. But moving aside, inside the box we got some plates and some PCBs uh, yeet. and inside we have the uh, liquid metal stabilizers in this little cool bag as well as a plastic baggie with the uh, feet and gaskets as well as the special artisan Let's see what color we got. Yo, sheesh! We got the fucking Fade Factory new on this bitch. Holy, that actually looks pretty damn sick. Well, here is the board itself. This is the black, golden, glossy chamfer version of the Mr. Suit. And honestly, goddamn, it looks fucking sick. It features these shiny gold chamfers, which, uh, to be quite honest with you, I have never really seen done before on a board, and I really dig it. The inner weight also has these gold outlines, and the back as well as top of the case are gold as well. Uh, the side profile of the board is also super nice and features this gold midframe. Overall really fitting look and build quality on this board and at this price range it really does give off that super premium and classy vibe. Looking like a keyboard that came straight out of a James Bond movie or some shit. So for the stabs we'll be using these Owl Labs special stabs that they sent over. These are the liquid metal ones. Uh, I believe the what is it called? The wires are made of liquid metal? I honestly don't know what the fuck that is, but apparently it shouldn't uh, bend during transit. Hmm. It's very flexible. Let's see. Let's see um, how straight this is. Oh, that is straight as fuck. Damn. Pretty good. So we're gonna go with these. And we're done. Oh. It's the PE foam. Some plate foam. Comes with some standoffs as well, but looking at the PCB for this board, it's pretty damn nutty. And it's a very thin PCB as well. <laughs> the PCB itself is super fucking flexible, but the craziest thing is that there's literal flex cuts for every damn switch 
god damn this is gonna be a really really soft bouncy type of experience i think but let's put the stabs on here welcome to another episode of shoops talks without a fucking script uh the board itself was a much easier build i gotta say than the jelly epoch uh it was a lot more straightforward and um, right here you see me building it with the PE foam, or with all the foam actually, but we will be testing out a lot more configurations in the sound test, so wait for that, because I took it took me a fucking long ass time to open and reopen and change the board, okay? It took me so long! But the gasket implementation on this is these little sort of gasket sock things that uh that slide on top of these points right here, which is pretty damn simple. Way easier than your usual gasket strips. So for the switches, we're going to be using the new tungsten switches or the owl switches. These will be only available right now to purchase if you purchase the Mr. Suit R2. Should cost around 65 cents per switch. Uh, they're linear, come unlubed, 63 gram gold plated spring, nylon top, nylon bottom, palm stem, and a long boy stem as well. Also, a widespread release of these is planned, but we don't know what date just yet. And for the keycaps, we'll be going with the classic GMK white on black. Oof. That is looking alright. Oh man, you can see all the sweat marks though. <laughs> clean it up a little bit. Alright, now it's looking pretty damn clean. It's for the finishing touch, which will be this fade chroma freaking Mr. Suit Artisan. Damn. That is, that is sick. Sheesh. Right, let's put that right on there well here is the board and it's looking quite quite fucking dank uh the glossy chamfers actually sort of glow onto the keycaps on the sides and on the bottom and stuff and it actually creates this like sort of illuminating effect which is sick uh, the side profile, everything, the build quality with the uh, fade artisan keycap. Yeah, this this is a very, very nice looking board. But let's see how this sounds and feels. Okay, so my thoughts on this board. 
It's fucking good. The typing experience is extremely bouncy, extremely soft, and extremely comfortable. And I gotta say, I really do enjoy it. I've actually been typing on this for a few days now, and I'm currently running the configuration with only case foam, and it sounds and feels Mm. As you heard from the sound test, there is a drastic difference in sound depending on the configuration you go with. And honestly, that option of customizability in the sound profile is actually super nice. If you want a deeper, muted, and richer sound, just pack it with all the foam you have. If you want a nice middle ground, uh, taking out just a play foam is a good option. If you want a crisp and higher pitch sound, you can run with no foam at all, or maybe just a case foam. All I'm trying to say here is that if there is a certain sound you want, this board can handle most of them pretty damn fucking well, which is honestly my favorite part about this keyboard. As for the typing feel, like I said before, it's a very soft, flexible, and bouncy board. The more foam you remove, the more flex and the effects of that bounce you actually feel. That's not to say with all the foam this board isn't soft and bouncy though, because it still is. There's one thing to note, and that is that if you do remove the case foam, and if you are a very hard typer, there is the possibility of the PCB actually bottoming out from the bottom case because it is that flexible. But luckily this doesn't short the board at all, which is a great feature. As for the owl switches, uh, they are quite smooth and have a pretty high pitch tone and pairs extremely well with the Mr. Suit to allow for a wide range of sound profiles and I've been enjoying typing on it so far. Overall, this is a very good keyboard. It goes head to head with the Frog and the Matrix ME, and I think the added customizability in the sound profile with the different foam configurations makes this board extremely unique. Honestly, it feels and sounds like a very, very premium keyboard, and I would say that most people that get this board uh, would not be disappointed. Owl Labs Mr. Suit, I approve. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for all the support and checking out the video till the end. Hopefully it helped you a little bit if you were on the fence about the Mr. Suit. And uh, more content on the way soon, more videos, more Switch reviews, more comedy videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.